Come and join me. Welcome to today's Words of Spirit and Life. I have not done a video since last year, so I can't wait to share this word with you. How do you look at yourself? At circumstances, situations, problems, blessings and victories? At your life in general? Do you look through the lens of your experience? The lens of your problems and disappointments? the lens of other people's opinions of you or through the lens of your victories and failures. Maybe your view is clouded with hurt, abuse and trauma. Have you accepted Jesus as your savior, but you are still feeling stuck, feeling like a victim, just overwhelmed by the unfairness of life? I want to encourage you today to step out of that downward spiral that you are in. Get into the Bible. Get into the Word of God. Ask the Holy Spirit to open the Word to you. And as you read, let the Word and the Spirit become the lens through which you look. Look at yourself and at the world around you through God's eyes. See things from his perspective. Think God's thoughts. Have the mind of Christ. Renew your mind. Change your way of thinking. Reprogram your mind to think the way God thinks. Let me leave you with these two scriptures. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 to 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So when you read the word, you can be sure to get something out of it. It will train you. It will show you the right path to take. Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever things are true, whatever things are honorable, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think about these things. And you know, when you think about the word, and all things that are honorable and good, then your attitude will be honorable and good. The words of your mouth will be honorable and good. The way you look at things will be honorable and good. The lenses you look through will not be clouded. It will be honorable and good. You will be thinking God's thoughts, looking through God's eyes, seeing things from his perspective. 